All right, so where we left off was we um, we left off with reading this board here. And let's see. This probably is Sam's room. Not play this. What is this? Oh, good thing I'm here. Duh. I want to play a tape. I'm just... Hey, is this from X-Files? I want to believe. Ah. Here we go. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're so cool, cool. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Adventurous the cat. How do these games around? Journey of Crystal. Super Starfire. Sorry. Super Spitfire. <laughs> Nice. I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. Okay, so I guess she's around that college, got to join college. Stage. In college. Oh, the entire thing. But we'll be with talented. English creative writing beyond the benefits of the program itself. Three students in each track will be offered a full scholarship for the first year. We either decide to attend the university full time as undergraduates and are accepted. Binders. How can I open the binders? The Brother 150. Oh. Groove Magazine. Um. Cool. There we go. What's this? This is kind of cute though. Did I see something? I don't know, it's just the tag. Oh, It's about Kurt Cobain dying, it's sad. Pencil. Is there anything in here? Just a bunch of books. All classics. Um, crumpled note. Ooh, disciplinary ref referral. Um, that's not any her name. Who is this? Mr. Benchley observed Mrs. Miss DeSoto wearing a t shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large, <laughs> um, skimming. And no one got a oh, Lonnie. 
Oh, that's her friend's name, right? Okay, then how does she have this? They didn't have a they didn't have a parent sign that, how dare they? Pacific Institute of Art ex exhibition. Sweet. Oh, combination. I don't know the combination. I think she would have her as her birthday. Um, this? Hey, Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. So either it's good or you can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us. It's a night for a change, but I can just stitch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't it that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. <laughs> I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle. So that's kind of hilarious. Of course. And something about cheeseburgers is, is important. Todd wants to see it again. 715, okay? Don't bur don't barf. Ah, alright, see you then. That's funny. Hmm. There has to be something. Where would this be? Um, C minus. Ooh. Not a challenging assignment. Metal plaque for family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean just add them underneath. <laughs> That's funny. Acceptable leveling on edges. Show more pride in work. Ooh. It's not good. Oh yeah, these coats. I guess this wouldn't have anything for the locker. Can I open this Oh, she's like writing a book or something? Oh, this is like a story that she wrote when she was a kid, right? From earlier? I think she like made it into an actual story. That's really cool. I'll just read that in a second. It's cute. What's this? Oh, Bible, sweet. Um, grab plaque. Samantha. S is for special. A is for adorable. M is for merry. A is for affectionate. N is for nice. T is for thoughtful. H is for honest. And A is for admirable. Mitten. Oh. What does that mean? Do, do they not have this pet anymore? It would be sad. I want to be able to open this. I can't open things. Apparently. Okay, we'll read the chapter. Alright, Captain Legor, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jerkin, has descended the single shining thread into the lower cavern of the labyrinth. She and the first mate on their own now, grew closer to their goal, the throne room of the first dead and mortal king of the island. The first mate slid down the line into the stone floor. She swept chalky bone dust from the front of her canvas trousers and looked up at Allegra, the silken thread nigh unbreakable thanks to the enchanted moths that inhabited the island, trailed behind leading their way back to the entrance. From further into the labyrinth, a moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. 
It turned into words from some ancient language they could not understand. The king's cursed voice that hairs on um, Captain Allegra's arms stood on end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked in the blackness of the passage for a moment too long, before noticing the captain's gaze. The first mate nodded silently ahead, following the king's ghostly song deeper and deeper into the labyrinth. They came upon a rocky gap, spilling forth otherworldly blue light. The great basin of the dead king's throne room lay below. Lay below. Skeletal and rotted skeletal and rotted robes, the king was haunched over the blue orb, topping his royal scepter. Shadows of his bony fingers danced on the walls like ghouls as he sang. Wailing sounds flowed in one by one through the cracks of the cave walls, pulled into the orb, causing it to glow brighter and brighter. Beyond the king, behind the king, a long staircase hewn from rock led down into the chamber from passage at the top. Allegra said, We have the advantage in numbers. I will draw his attention and then you... But then the first mate interrupted, No, I am smaller and quicker, and you know of dealing... You know dealing of mystic energies like these. I will circle to the other side and get the um, king's attention and then lead him on a merry chase. She held up the silk line, all traced by the invisible thread, of course. Allegra said, it is a good plan, but perhaps we should go together. First mate, the first mate shook her head. You know, this is our best chance. Don't be afraid for me. They grasped hands and exchanged three tight squeezes, their palms growing warm. The first mate tried shining it, tried, tried, sorry, tied the shining thread to the belt of her trousers, gave a quick salute and wink, and dashed off. Allegra, Allegra waited, staring at village vigilantly crossed the top of the stairs where the first mate was to appear. The king continued his, Wait, no, no. The singing stopped. The king turned and began walking up the stairs. Allegra wanted to call out to do anything to stop the first mate from running headfirst into danger. She used, sorry, she tried tugging on the line to, to signal her, no use. The king was nearly at the top of the stairs when the first mate burst through the passageway. She skidded to a stop. Even from across the yawning basin, Allegra could see that the first mate's eyes grew wide. She turned and ran, summoning his undead power. The king left the ground, levitating, gliding behind her with distressing speed. From some dank passage much too far away, Allegra heard the first mate scream. She was already running towards the sound. The line in Allegra's hand went taut, then shuddered. It fell slack on the stone floor. As Allegra ran, she was gathering. As ra ran, she gathered. As Allegra ran, she was gathering line, twisting it around her arm. She came to. She came to its end. The unbreakable thread dangled limply. Its end shredded and frayed in her hand. She tossed it to the ground and ran, ran, ran. Wow, that does a lot. But I want to be thorough in my search. Which never happens, but we'll pretend that it does. There has to be something I'm missing. Like, I would imagine... I know the other code wasn't in this room, but why would it not be in her actual bedroom? You know? I just need the code. Mm. <gasps> oh my god, it's over here dying. Wild color. That scared me. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. Why would no one clean this up? I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and 
I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited. And the moment was gone. I think they like each other. So I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna take a, a wild guess and say that they definitely had a thing. Man, I just want to get into this locker combination. I don't know what it would be. I don't want to try random numbers. I really don't. This my room? I made it to mom's room, I guess. I have so many Bibles laying around. Damn. Some good tapes here. Um, uh, VHS is here. This is the sound of music, sounds of lambs. Um, what does that say? All the president's men. Okay. Oh, Mitten. Something happened to that cat. I mean, it might have been a long time ago, so it's fine. This would be okay, but. Okay, what book is this? Leaves of Grass. Cool. So many binders that I can't look into. That's all I want to do. All I want to do is look into binders. looks so 80s. It's great. It's great. What is this? Something I can't click on. That's what it is. Oh, they have their own bathroom. Ooh. Comb. Hairbrush. After the honeymoon. Ew. Gross. What does the back of that say? <laughs> this should just be fun to read. It may seem inevitable that the spark you had, you and your spouse shared on your honeymoon should fade over time. But it doesn't have to be. Oh, it's a reverend that tells us. Okay. Reverend Alexander Michaels will show you how to rekindle the fire you once had. I mean, if anyone's going to show you how to do that, of course, it's going to be Reverend Alexander Michaels. Part 1 provides simple steps to reopen the lines of communication between you and your spouse, allowing you to face the problems you share as partners instead of rivals. Part 2 leverages the Reverend's decades of service to God, helping you connect with a higher power. You'll draw strength from spirituality you might not even know you have. Exciting. Part 3 offers a number of fresh and exciting ideas for the bedroom, including a few things that may surprise you. The reserves of passion for your spouse run deep. You just have to know where to look. Met Reverend Michaels will show you the way. 
It's nice that this is in the bathroom. Um, anyway, a lot of candles. Just gonna throw that in there because I feel like it. All right. Anything in here? Watercolor technique. Hmm. That's just about painting. It's probably not near as interesting as the other one. Dear Mom, Dad, and Sam, I'm in the channel. This is this, my second passage through the channel. I'm on the way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was so excited about the channel. London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. But, sorry, if you wanted to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I would be convinced. Love you, Mom. Katie. Nice. I'm a business card. Unknown dimension literature. Oh, it's hyper dad. Ooh. Earth, Wind, and Fire and Willie Nelson. Ooh, sounds like a good concert. Okay. What is this? Mom and Dad are going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice and they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. There's those lights on there. Oh my god. Paintings. Hey Sam, you were asking up what my say J J R O J R O T C what J R O T C oh 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 I get it ribbons meant here's a handy guide all right this means orienteering this means the ar army thinks I can find my way around. This is the rifle team. My army has branded me as a certified killing machine. For adventure training, I'm a born adventurous and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this. So if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Lonnie D. Oh, this is... For some reason, I didn't register that. This is not for me. It's for Sam. Duh. Okay. So is this, if Sam's stuff is in here, does that mean she's, the other room wasn't Sam's book? Because, Sam's room? Because, then why is her, like, stuff is just in here? Um, sightseeing journal. A tall shadow in upstairs hall when I rounded the corner I was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? I was not wearing my glasses. Step three, a faint voice came from the, came from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello, did not investigate, probably was the furnace. Poured milk from the car and fridge was spoiled, pretty sure with that spirit is getting sour milk. Oh. Well, I said she felt a presence in the TV room, I suddenly began to feel cold. I don't know, that explains the all the pillows and stuff because they um, built a protective pillow fort because you never ghosts can't get through that Lion I were Lion I employ a Ouija board as a medium disturbing messages were conveyed on the other side Oscar is definitely here enlisted mind to stay up all night to help patrol premises record any signs of otherworldly presence Lonnie reported many sightings but all remained unconfirmed possible ectoplasm in the attic Probably a leaky roof. Simple taken, sample taken just in case. Despite our 
due to our this is despite then due to our best efforts, you both fell asleep around four AM. All in all successful night. Misk. Okay, nothing in here. Is this is there something I can play this on? Oh. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, how do you like your first Evans show? To Betsy. I was so happy. Was the I case. felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Oh, it's like a pirate costume. Wanna <laughs> help crap? I was in library of something in the corner. I found a secret passage. Had Oscar scoopy old stuff in it. Oh. oh my god, I have got to see this with skipping six. This is the sewing room? Oh. Interesting. Sam's dark room. Don't enter. Why not? Well, it says don't enter. The red lights are on. And they're on. So, if you can't enter, damn. But I wanna, I'm curious what that secret passageway is. So I'm going to go th find that first. Because I am actually curious. So which one's Katie's room? If this is the guest room. Hmm. Ghost game, sweet. Uh, so wait. Let's 
see anything in here. Oh! Well, that was kind of scary. 